hello beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Nadia and in today's video if you're new here just to let you know you clicked on it for this reason to see my layering combos for the week if you're not new here you already know what it is y'all know how we roll y'all know how we do so we're just gonna jump right into the video and try not to make this one as long as I normally do because you know your girl likes to talk <laughs> so all right, so the first thing we're gonna start with, as always, are my gym scents and my bedtime scents. So a couple of days this week to the gym, I pull, I told y'all in my last video that I'm trying to start rotating my fragrances, like stuff that I know that I skip over that I'm just like, oh, I've had that for a while. I don't care to wear that anymore. Like I'm trying to start rotating my stuff so that it's for one, not going to waste and I'm not wasting my money because that I don't do. And for two is because I don't want the stuff to start smelling like alcohol and smell it old then I have to end up throwing it away and all that good stuff. So as hard as it's been because it's making me grab for scents that I have not grabbed for in a long time. Well it's forcing me to grab for scents that I haven't grabbed for in a long time. Like I'm trying to be very intentional about it. It's going to take me a while to go through especially like my Bath and Body Works stuff and things like that. And like one of the fragrances that I have here today I kind of forgot how good it smells and I, it's on my do not buy again list because of it doesn't last but it smells good just a whole bunch so anyways like I said my gym scent for a few days this week uh, I spray it. and it's so funny when I do this I don't put the if I I'm either gonna put the spray on or the lotion on I never do both together when I'm going to the gym I don't know why I know it's because I'll be kind of like rushing but it takes two seconds to do that I don't know so this time I grabbed the body spray <laughs> instead of the body lotion uh, and this is pink sugar y'all know I always tell y'all when I go to the gym to work out this is the one time that I don't mind smelling like food or smelling like a sweet scent or something like that I prefer food scents like fruit like gourmand scents uh, sweet scents like this anything like this I prefer to smell like that going to the gym because all the different body scents that's in there I like to smell sweet or edible and stuff like that I don't like to smell perfumey when I work out for when it's a waste and I just don't want to smell like perfume when I'm in there but I don't mind smelling like things like this so this is velvet sugar and this is the spray that I wore a couple of days this week um, to the gym without the lotion just the spray <laughs> okay the next scent that I wore um, I didn't today I didn't wear anything um, I just got dressed and walked out the house I've been in a weird space in my house because my air went out last Saturday so me getting up even though the, my air went out and they came and put window units in the house y'all now I'll see why growing up my dad had a window unit in the den in our house because the den was pretty big now I am of course we had central air but that air just did not pump out enough to cool off that den to the way that he wanted but that freaking window unit did and when i tell y'all the window units that's in this house my house has been freezing with this freaking it's, it's to the point that when they came to fix the air today and i called keelan and told her they were coming to fix the air she said are they gonna take the window unit <laughs> like yes they gonna take it she was like, Ma, I really wish I could keep this window unit. She said, my room be so cold. Of course, when you're cold like that, you sleep better. So she really wanted to keep that window unit. I was so tickled. I said, Keelan, I get it. But you got to let it go, sis. You got to let it go. <laughs> so, yes. So, anyways, I've been kind of weird because, like, we've been sleeping with the doors open because you want the air to circulate because Keelan had a window unit in her room. And then we had a big one in the kitchen that kind of cooled off the other areas of the house and it actually worked we put some fans in the doorway of our room to kind of push the air into the room. we slept cold it's been cold in this house or whatever so with all the doors open I tried to cut off I tried to um, like minimize the amount of lights that I've cut on um, in the morning time with me getting up going to the gym that was the point of me saying all that so I haven't been been doing as much because I'm trying to like keep all the lights off or whatever in the morning time so anyways I'd be so sidetracked y'all I'm so sorry I know y'all be like this girl just be talking but that's what YouTube is for right the talk if I wasn't talking I wouldn't be here watching right and anyways so the next scent that I wear wore this week to the gym I have the spray to this did not wear the spray I only wore, wore the body cream and this is Waze Melrose, Melrose Place I don't know what it is as to why I wear one or the other I have the spray right there it's literally in the front of these things right here 
Easy access. I had to dig in the back of my shelf for this one, but I still will grow. I don't know why I do one or the other. I guess I feel like because I don't need all of it. Like, I don't, my scent doesn't need to be heavy when I go to the gym. So if I put on the spray, I won't put on the lotion. If I put on the lotion, I won't put on the spray or something. Unless I'm wearing shorts, then I lotion up because I want to be ashy. So those are the only two things that I wore to the gym this week. I kind of rotated them. And then the only thing that I've worn to bed this week, which I really should not have had this on. I should have just put on some kind of spray or something. But of course, I got to moisturize. But like I said, it was cold. So it was okay for me to wear this and because this is kind of thick. And this is the Truly Unicorn CBD Whip Body Butter Soothe and Glow. And this is the one that I have. First of all, I absolutely love the packaging on these. The clear bottle with the gold top. And their top is really nice. Like the top is heavy. It has a good bit of weight to it. And it looks like that on the inside. Y'all, I have all of these ideas of what I want to do. Like businesses that I want to start outside of what I already do. This is one of them. I would love to be able to make my own body butter and have them in this unicorn style like this. I the smell is okay. Like I later I don't wear this for the smell. I wear this for the um the moisture the moisture that's in it because they it really does moisturize. The smell is kind of like eh. Like whatever. But I love these. Like I really, really would love to create my own body butters like this. I started looking the stuff, all the stuff up for it, but it's crazy because this is the packaging that I love gold. As y'all can see, I always have on gold stuff. So the packaging that they have is what I would want. And I just, but I would want it to look like I'm biting off of them. Of course, theirs are engraved with truly on the top. Like, you know, they got me. But I don't know. I just love the way these look. You know, I know other people like you go on TikTok, TikTok and you look up body butters. You can see people that created theirs on there. This is one of the things that I would want to do. Of course, I would want to create body products because I love them. Like, this has become, not become my thing. It's always been my thing. You guys have just found that it's my thing. Okay, so to start the week off with what we wore. All right, so Monday. Y'all, I've been kind of playing this week. I don't have really a couple of days. I did. Okay, so Monday. I was like, I'm going to have to force myself to start playing with this scent. So one of my subscribers, oh God, I said I was going to remember who commented. I would have to pull the comment. I don't remember. But if you commented and said what I'm about to say, leave a comment down below and let everybody know that it was you that gave me this layering idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one of my subscribers uh, gave me this layering idea. And at first... I was like, when she named a couple of the scents, I was like, oh, I gave that one away because I didn't like it. Oh, I, I kind of ran from it. Then I was like, wait a minute. I have a sample of Nomad. So let me test this out because y'all, when y'all see the perfume, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I started off my layer with something simple, Dove body cream, oil, um, nourishing body care. Simple, basic, clean scent um, on this body lotion. I can't even talk right now. And the perfume that I, first of all, these perfumes, y'all will see, if y'all have watched my fragrance videos, and y'all are all caught, caught up, y'all will see why I was so skeptical and why I was so scared. I was scared to wear this combination, but I was like, not you. You bought it. You spent your money on it. You better figure out how to wear it. The perfume I'm talking about is LaBelle. <laughs> y'all know how I am scared of LaBelle. Because LaBelle, to me, is a cross between ink and like okay like eh, i don't know okay like, like labelle is just a lot for me and i know a lot of women love labelle but labelle is not an easy wear fragrance um in my opinion because i know a lot of women that obsess over this when i went in the mall to smell this the girl in there literally sprayed herself while we were talking about it because she's so obsessed with it and i'm standing there like I don't know, girl. It's just something about, but it's funny because when LaBelle, LaBelle first came out, I was in Mobile Mall and the lady let me smell it. And I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. And my best friend was like, no, you smell like an auntie. And I was like, it does not. But after I bought it, I was like, Ugh. I don't know, girl. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's... LaBelle is a hard one for me. You know, I told y'all, like, I feel like it smells good, but at the same time, it's like, I'm scared of it. I don't know. But anyways, I need to stop putting my nose on there. 
anyways what i mixed it with okay this is what i mean when i say that this was a scary combo i took my sample that i got from bond number nine my nomad sample yes yeah, so now that you see what i'm mixing together if you're the one that commented comment down below and like hey Nadia, it was me that you know told you to try that combo so she told me to try the combo with Oh, that's the air. It's new, so it comes on different. She told me to try LaBelle and pair it with um, Shag Half Oud. I bought Shag Half Oud. I blind bought it and I gave it away almost immediately because I absolutely cannot wear that fragrance. It's one of those that it gags me and then it's extremely strong. And y'all know I'm a strong girl. I love strong fragrances. But one day, Keelan. I tried to give it to Keelan and she was like, I like it. So she wore it to the gym one day and she, we drive separate cars to the gym. And I was like, Keelan, you got that perfume on? She was like, yeah, the one in the gold bottle that you, I was like, don't wear that around me. I was like, Keelan, that perfume makes me sick. I was like, please don't wear that around me anymore. So she did, she stopped. And then like she tried to wear it again and she was like, okay, mom, I get it. I see what you're saying about this perfume. So you told me to wear LaBelle and Shag half ooh and me said it how good it smelled and I gave my bottle away brand new. I gave it to Keelan and Keelan's like no and so I gave it to my co-worker she loves it but um I couldn't do Shag half ooh but to me Nomad smells like a fancy version of Shag half ooh they smell like they would be cousins to me so when you said that I was like you know what I can pair these together because I was blind buying no man's body silk before I got the two body silks that I have right here I actually put in an order to blind buy no man's body silk and they ended up canceling my order for some reason and so I was like okay well I guess it wasn't meant to be thank God I did not get that order because after getting this sample I was like ooh, this smells just like shag half ooh but it's like a better smelling version of shag half ooh but I was able to put these on. I mixed these two, wore these two together. And it wasn't a bad combo. I actually liked it. So in order for me to wear LaBelle, she's going to have to be mixed with something for me to be happy with it. And it's so crazy that I mixed these two fragrances that I'm so on the fence about together and ended up liking them. Now this fragrance combo is not for the faint of heart. Now if you like LaBelle, fine. You'll probably like these two together. But if you're on the fence about LaBelle, I feel like I'm the only person that's on the fence about LaBelle. So y'all just going to leave me out there outside on the fence by myself about this perfume? And ain't nobody going to come out there with me? And it's about to get dark? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, y'all. Like, And it's so crazy. My favorite color is royal blue. I wanted Nomad so bad because... I wanted to love Nomad so bad because I wanted the bottle. And it's crazy because my crazy tail still kind of thinks about ordering it. But I went and looked at it last night. It's like $460. Absolutely not. Not going to happen. Anyway, let's move on. Tuesday's layering combination. Now, Tuesday, baby, Tuesday was a beast. Tuesday is not to be played with. Tuesday had people following my trail scent to find who it was that was wearing the prep perfume. And once they found me, were like, it's you. It's me. It's me. Boy. What did I do? <laughs> it's you that smells like that. Oh, yeah. It is. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. Oh, thank you. I love it too. <laughs> That's how the conversation went. <laughs> but yes, this person tracked me down, like followed me, and I hadn't even been in their area. That's the crazy thing. But my scent in the scent trail was just kind of sitting everywhere that I went. So this can y'all, and when I show y'all this perfume, y'all gonna be like, okay, she just talked about this and talked about how good it was. When I tell you guys, I absolutely love this first perfume in this pairing combo. I love it with my whole freaking heart. And I love it so much. And the fact that it's so cheap. Anyways, we started with EOS Vanilla Cashmere in every video. Are y'all shocked? I'm just going to have to start rotating some of my other stuff because homegirl probably tired of me. Okay. So EOS we started with. And then on top of EOS. Yep. I did. We just talked about her. What, a week ago? Y'all. Okay. So, y'all know I have a dedicated video of every fragrance that I talk about on this channel. 
So there is a dedicated video on this and y'all can go watch that dedicated video if y'all want all the little details about it. But I'm telling you right here, right now, every single woman needs this perfume. This perfume is gorgeous. It, it, it's been sitting here doing its thing. I've worn it. I've done a dedicated video and it gets better and freaking better every time I sniff it. It's $30. 30 for this 3.4, whatever this is, 3.4, $30 y'all. It's down below in my Amazon storefront. Click on the perfumes folder. Every, I'm sorry. If there is a person who gets this and don't like it, I would be so surprised. I just cannot see anybody not liking this fragrance. The I'm obsessed with this perfume. Like this is one that I'm like, okay, Nadia, the bottle is big, but you might need to get a backup. Y'all, this smells better than... It's, it's a dupe for Mademoiselle. This is beating the brakes off Mademoiselle. And y'all know I love Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle can't hold a candle to this. I'm sorry. It's $30. Mademoiselle is what? $122? $120 $120 oh my God. Lord have mercy. It smells so good. <laughs> Anyways, I paired her with Burberry Elixir. I did. So I was walking around smelling so good. Walking around smelling so good. Walking around smelling so good. Y'all can see my bottom half, but it's moving too. <laughs> but yes, y'all. <sighs> yes, I feel like everybody has this already. I feel like everybody has Elixir already because I was late to the party on Elixir because I was against Elixir for a long while. <laughs> Took a little growing on me to do. I feel like y'all already have these too. I feel like y'all do. If y'all in the perfume, Y'all got these already. Y'all don't have this one yet? Please get it. Please do. Not just to pair it with this combo, just to have it because it is. I love you. Okay? I just want you to know that. I love you. <laughs> so, all right. So, Wednesday's combination. Now, Wednesday's combination, I was kind of like. I almost went bolder than I did, but I was like, Nadia, that's a little too bold, and this is going to be an experiment. And you definitely don't want to be experimenting with this perfume and the other perfume that I was going to experiment it with. I was like, you don't want to do that and then have to wear that to work and end up hating it. And then people have to smell that on you all day. So when you experiment with that, you need to try that at night when you're going to bed. So on your arm, just it. So when you go to bed, it'll be worn off, and you can just go to bed, and then it'll just be forgetting that you even did it if you hate it. Okay, so I started the combination with the Lena body cream. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to need another jar of this because, <laughs> oh my God, it's more than halfway empty. No, I'm about halfway. Okay, y'all can see it. About halfway. If you love the Lena scent, if you have the Lila, if you have the Lena, if you have exclusive, if you have any of those that smell like this, get this body cream. The way it is going to take your fragrance to the next level <laughs> sorry my sinuses are draining while i'm trying to talk the way it is going to take your fragrance to the next level i am too. <sighs> all right so let's keep going i paired that delina's body cream with mancera roses greedy i've not worn this in so long I am one of those girls that when I see something I want, I want it. And I want it like bad. And I itch to have it. And I can't stop thinking about it until I get it. I feel like I need it right now. I don't care what is going on. I mean, of course, I'm buying it myself. So, hey. But it's like I just be itching to get stuff. Like I just have to have it right now. I can't think about nothing else. My mind doesn't settle until I get it. And then when I get it, and it's like, okay, I got it. I'm fine now. Look at this. You see how much of this I use? I was dying to get this fragrance. Then it was a blind buy, so I don't know why I was dying to get something I could never smell. But I just needed it, and then it sits on the shelf. I mean, I wear it every now and then, but it sits on the shelf. Like, I didn't need it that bad. If I, I'd be wanting stuff like I'm going to get it and wear it for 60, 90 days. 
and then run, empty the bottle out. No, that's not how I operate. I just have to have it so it's there when I need it. It makes no sense. Freaking ridiculous. Anyways, Rose is greedy. If y'all know Rose, Rose is greedy. Rose is greedy as Rosie, but it's such a pretty rose. This ain't your grandma's rose. I always say that. I hope I don't be offending nobody when I say that. But when I say that, it's like, because we always tie rosy scents into old. And it's not that. It is a very pretty rose. So I paired rose. I'm sure I can see by now. I paired roses greedy with Yara. I did. I was like, okay, I don't mind the see the other rose, rose fragrance that I was pairing it with was this freaking um, amethyst. Amethyst is too, it's for me to do these two together and experiment and wear them out in public, wear them experiment. No, I couldn't do that. I was like, okay, now you need to rethink that. So I knew I could experiment this way by, I've been taking these tops off and smelling these fragrances like I have not smelled them before or have not worn them. So we went rosy, rosy with the cream, rose is greedy with this. And like I said, it is a sweet, very feminine rose. And I was like, I want to sweeten it up a little bit more. Okay, so let's see what happened with this. One of my coworkers, I'm like really, really good friends with, and she, uh, her thing, she loves Mademoiselle, so that's her favorite fragrance. So I wear roses greedy, mind you. I'm experimenting, so I'm not expecting anybody to react off of this because I really didn't know how I was gonna react. As soon as I get there, of course they, I, I come through the door. They're always like, "Oh, you smell good." Like when you come through, I come through the door. But when I get there, go to the back, come back over this way. She follows me. I want to smell like you. I was like. You can smell me. She's like, of course, we can always smell you. And I want to smell like, this is her talk. And I want to smell like that. I like it. And I want to smell like that. What do you have? Is it, what she's like, is it $200? Because if it is, I don't want it. <laughs> or something like that. And I was like, oh, that's so funny. Because I didn't know if anybody would like it. She was like, out of all the scents that we I, that I smelled on you, she said, that is my absolute favorite. She was like, I just need to see how it wears on me. She was like, if this wears, if it wears well on me, I want that. She said it is my favorite combination of all time. And I was like, what? Mind you, she's a Chanel girl, so I expected this combo. Actually, I didn't wear this combo around her. I was at a different branch. But yeah, she absolutely loved this combo. And I was shocked. I was like, okay. All right, Nadia, you did something there. Wasn't expecting it, but it worked. It smelled really good. All right, so where we at? Thursday. Thursday's combo was cute. It was girly. It was feminine. It was also a fragrance that I have not worn since last year. And I don't, I don't think I think I've worn it since last year. I, just, I, I don't pick it up because it's so it's just so soft. This is the one that I said is on my list of fragrances that I will not buy again because of how soft it is. It's, it's a very pretty fragrance, but it's just I wouldn't spend my money on it again because it's so soft. Like, I like my stuff to have some holding power. And that one, it's it's cute. It's, it smells nice. It's just so soft, you know? So if I'm gonna spend my, from now on, if I spend my stuff, my money on fragrances, 90% of them are gonna be powerhouse scents. 90%. I'm gonna have a little bit, you know, a little, I'm gonna have some one twos in there. <laughs> but. I just don't want to spend $80, $90 on a perfume that's going to wear like a body spray. That is what I'm saying. Anyways, so we started with Sol de Janeiro Beige Floor Elastic Cream. <laughs> it's this one. Okay. The one that matches the Brazilian Crush 68. Y'all know I love this combination. Y'all, I love this combo so much. This one. If y'all don't have Brazilian Crush 68, <laughs> Brazilian Crush 68. Y'all gotta get this. This one smells so freaking nice. And I paired it with YSL Montpellier. I did. And I know y'all probably like, but Nadia, I love that fragrance. So do I. I love it. It smells very nice. But it is, if you like soft fragrances, if you're a soft girl, you know, y'all know I like strong scents. I prefer stronger scents so I can build them or not. This one smells, it's lovely. But I would just prefer it to be a lot stronger. It's something that I'm glad I have in my collection. I love it. I love to wear it when I do, which is not often. But I just wouldn't repurchase it because of how soft it is. That's it. That's the only that's the only um, con to it to me that it's soft and it doesn't wear long. 
Now, if you prefer long fragrances, and mind you, I'm one of the ones who reapplies my fragrances throughout the day. So it's not terrible that that doesn't last because I'm going to reapply it anyway. I put them on in the morning and I normally reapply at lunch or whatever just because I like to be able to smell myself. It's just that one. It's just too, it's the fact that it, it, the bottle would be $70, $80 or something like that at this point. And it's so soft, but it is a beautiful fragrance. So as soft as your thing, knock yourself out. Last but not least, I ended the week off like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> All right. So the body lotion that I started with, yours again. <laughs> this is the Jasmine Peach. I started with this one. Y'all. What do Back to my regular scheduled program. As I was saying, did I show y'all what I have in my hand? It don't matter. Anyway, <laughs> so I started off with my baby. Both of these are my babies. I'm going to just show them to y'all at the same time. These are my babies. I love these fragrances. I hate that I bought this new shame in, what is this, 1.7? But I had to because I, it was a blind buy. I wasn't going to blind buy 3.4 in this because, I mean, this is one perfume that I would want to have in a 3.4. And y'all know I buy everything in the small bottle. The one ounce, the 1.3, 1.7, however it comes. I feel like that's just my preferred size because I have so many and it's like, I don't need all those big 3.4 bottles. And then the 1.7, they're cheaper. Come on, let's be real. But in 100 Silent Ways, let's be clear, that's which one this is. 100 Silent Ways is one perfume that I would want in a 3.4. This perfume smells so freaking good, y'all. Like, I absolutely love it. And y'all already know how I feel about Jimmy Choo. I want you forever. So for me to put these two on together, I honestly think that I have worn this combo before in one of my videos. I think it was in one of my earlier videos when I was trying out these type of videos and wasn't really sure if they was going to be a hit or not. I, I'm almost positive I've worn this combo today, but I wanted to wear Nishane so bad today because I hadn't touched her in a month. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta go out with a bang. If I'm gonna wear Nishane, even though she stands alone by herself, don't get me wrong, I just wanted to smell extremely good. And so putting these two together, I'm wearing this again tomorrow. It is what it is. This will probably be my weekend scent. Y'all, I love this combination so freaking much. Because these two perfumes are two of my top five fragrances. Like, I'm going to do a top, ooh, should I do a top five, top six? My top five or six fragrances in my collection. I should do that video. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these two. They are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. You can't go wrong. Every woman should need these. Every woman should need these. Every woman should have these. Okay, I absolutely love these two. All right, you guys, this video is long enough. Um, so I'm not gonna say too much. Anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for tuning into my weekly layering combo videos. I hope y'all never get tired of these because I never want to stop doing them. <laughs> I love them so much. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support on my channel. Before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in next week's layering combos. Bye, guys.